If your emotions are running high and you're feeling chaotic energy, listen the fuck up because we've got a full moon in Pisces on September 10th and you need to know about it. Make sure you stay until the end of the video where I offer you a ritual that you can do to really call in the beautiful energy of release, forgiveness, and tapping into your intuitive powers. We have a very intuitive and emotionally charged full moon in Pisces, but we also have six planets in retrograde. Holy fuck, cosmic energy to understand why I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling personally, professionally, in my relationships, all the way around. It really helps you get grounded and centered, which is a key point of this full moon. If you want to dive deeper, I am hosting a full moon in Pisces workshop on Friday, September 9th. The link is in my bio. Pisces is a very intuitive sign and also the great sign of healing. So if you are feeling into your emotions, use the power of this beautiful full moon, which is a time of release and forgiveness to really step into your intuitive guidance, your inner wisdom. Because when you do that, when you release what no longer serves you, when you activate the power of the full moon, then you have the opportunity to manifest with ease everything that you desire. About these planetary retrogrades, because these aspects are also influencing what this energy looks like as you're in a state of release and forgiveness. Uranus in retrograde reminds us that it, we are free to break old patterns. So this is a time for you to really change your thought behaviors. Everyone always freaks out about Mercury retrograde, but not to worry. It does go retrograde on Friday, September 9th in the sign of Libra. So this means that you really need to stay present and centered and grounded in your relationships. Jupiter in retrograde means that abundant success and joy is an inside job. So instead of looking externally to validate your success, go inside. Saturn retrograde asks us, how do our personal commitments affect the collective consciousness? Neptune retrograde asks us, what's a vision versus what are fantasies that are distracting us? Are you running away from reality because you're always in fantasy land or are you really being grounded in your visions, your manifestations? Pluto retrograde, which says, hey, how does your pain, your trauma from the past help you step into who you truly are? How can you really heal those deep wounds by accepting your past? and leaning into it now in the present. Here are two great rituals that you can do to work with this Pisces full moon. Pisces is a water sign, so we're gonna work with water. Grab a jar, fill it with water, and put it under the full moon to supercharge it and make moon water. The second one is my favorite. Use the power of the vortex of water through your bath or shower. Before you step into the water, put intention around whatever you need to release or forgive. Why